I just said on Facebook that I had 20 pounds of this stuff. I actually have 10 pounds of this stuff. It, it looks like a it looks like a, uh, a a 20 pound box to be honest, but um apparently there's only uh, 10 pounds of this stuff in here. And what it is is diatomaceous earth. And I got it from diatomaceousearth.net. Um it seemed to be a reliable, good quality source. And for those of you that don't know, it's basically the cleanest dirt that you can buy. But it's like fossilized shells and uh, you name it. And it is meant to be an absolutely fantastic supplement. Um, it kills... Uh, like insects and bugs around the house so you can loosely sprinkle it in your carpet along the uh, border lines of rooms and in cracks and crevices and anything that crawls in there it will dry up and die and it feels very chalky very very chalky um, it's very very fine and I'm gonna start drinking this today um, but before I show you my face I gotta jump in the shower because I've literally been working all day in not in my PJs, I got dressed, I don't really have PJs, but um, my hair is a mess. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I want to mix this and um, give you my first impressions of me drinking diatomaceous earth. Because I want to see what does it do, how does it taste. Um, there's a lot of incredible, uh, I'll put in the links below in the description I'll put a, um, a a web link so you can go check out a very good write-up and they talk about what diatomaceous earth does for you your health your body um, house use uh, in the garden and and what have you so it's a very very uh, multi-purpose type of uh, product but it's meant to be very very healthy I was introduced to this I was listening to coast to coast radio online and someone called in saying that they were secretly putting this in their grandma's uh, grandma's tea without her without her knowing and um, slowly over the last like month or two she's been getting better and better and better <laughs> without any clue that she's actually eating dirt um, it's not dirt uh, but you know in essence it, it, it kind of is so I'm gonna go shower then I'm gonna mix some of this up up and um, let's see what it's like. So I'm going to grab a glass. Let's get some uh, juice. I don't usually drink juice. I've got type 2 diabetes right now, so uh, something I try and stay clear of it spikes. Spikes my uh, blood sh blood sugar too much too quick. I'll give this a dance. And they say just to use a teaspoon. So I'll just use a level teaspoon today and mix it in. See how how that works. This uh, is so powdery. It's got a big uh, twisty tie on it. It's a very fine powder. So I got some. It actually seems to have um, stirred in quite nicely. It's not clumping up. Although it has turned the juice to a muddy color. 
There's a bit of clumpage. I guess the juice is just hiding it nicely. I have like a little mini blender for one cup. So I'm going to drink this. Having done uh, a lot of uh, having done a lot of drink uh, juicing uh, with vegetables over the years and um, what have you, uh, I'm used to drinking odd concoctions. And there's another there's another one that I I do. It's uh, it's this, but this is more. Um, it's a bio essence where it's got like plant life, leaves, uh, all sorts of uh, greenery and shrubbery <laughs> in here. And I've got the other end of the spectrum with the ocean and what have you in here. So let's give it a, let's give it a dance. In juice, it's okay. It's absolutely fine. Very pleasant. Ooh, just the juice is uh, strong. So next time, what I'm gonna do is I will, uh, I will half juice, half water with the powder. My mouth feels as though I've had some like it's very dry, um, but overall, nothing at all. And that was great. Not, not, uh, not an issue. I would uh, happily do that every day. And what they're saying is to have two or three heaping teaspoons per day. So this being just uh, like a level teaspoon, sort of, um, in a in a large juice. So. I'm gonna start doing it. This is basically the 30th of uh, April, so all of May I'll do it. And let's see what happens, let's see how I feel. Maybe at the same time, maybe I'll kick it into action and do this as well. Um, I've got one that I've already opened, I'll show you. I mean, such a fine powder. See that come out? It almost looks like very fine fish food. Um, but it's all sorts of uh, good for you health, uh, plant life. Wow. And in that is uh, Spirulina, blue green algae, uh, chlorella, broken cell algae, nettle leaf, purple dulse seaweed, wheat grass, uh, spinach leaf, alfalfa grass, barley grass, astragalus root, rose hips, orange peel, lemon peel, beetroot, and a base of proprietary. Ayurvedic herbs and non-active nutritional yeast, nutritional yeast, and nutritional yeast. I used to do um, quite a bit not too long ago by running. Yeah, so I can be a bit of a health nut. I can be, but I need to get back to this because my health is getting to a point where I really need to start looking after myself. Well, it's early, but. My cats have been milling around like crazy, and uh, they're all hunkering down over their uh, over their food bowls. So I'm going to go ahead and feed them. We have uh, a new a new recliner. Uh, we've had it for for quite some months, but <clears throat> actually <clears throat> we've had it since the beginning of the year. Uh, and it's made of like a microfiber, and every time the cats climb up it, it, uh, it just gets absolutely covered. So I went out the other day and I bought some material 
and I'm going to make a cover to go over to go over the uh, the sofa. So I draw up this plan of the couch. This is just one side, and then I did most of the measurements. There's a couple of measurements missing, and um, the the cover is going to be like this way is also going to be replicated over this side. It's not as plush, but uh, it will do the job. I can take.